Hello there, here's a video on storage ideas with custom NPCs. Uh, this is custom NPC 1.165 and uh, this was something that I was working on a long time ago and I uh, just got back to it and finished it up and have two other storage uh, solutions. So let me show you this one. Um, this NPC, click on her and she says, I might have some boxes for you. Let's see. And these boxes are numbered. You can just grab one. You can look at some more. We'll grab four. Yes. And there's up to nine of them here. So, and then as you can see, we have these three shulker boxes here. And uh, they're just regular shulker boxes. They're numbered like that. Um, you can put stuff in the and then if we um, break them up into loose items like that they'll go right back to her. And they are stored in her inventory right here. Uh, one through nine. Uh, so, I thought it was a good idea. I don't know. But uh, how this is done is these are just picked up um, by checking for the closest entity. And if that entity starts with a number, it will be put in the respective uh, inventory slot there. So this could lead to some sort of uh, confusion if you had other items that began with a number. Uh, you could add some sort of checking in here for an actual string like box or something like that to make sure that um, you're grabbing the right thing but I didn't do that um, so how the uh, dialogue works is uh, it works on a scoreboard like this each option is controlled by these av availabilities of these scoreboards uh, dummy scoreboard things here um, either it's zero or one and that that allows um, them to be available or not and then down here you uh, under the dialog option I strip off the last number of the name of the option to determine which slot it is because the index number won't work so let me let me explain that here like here if you see so this is zero one two three four five index so if I take this one out and I take that one out this is zero one two three so uh, box five is now three index so that's why I had to do it that way um, that uh, that's how that works so uh, one important thing is you have to run I was thinking of putting this into the initialization uh, function but you just have to run something like this once to uh, set up these objectives these dummy objectives here and that's how that works so let me show you two other things these are this one let me see this one here is kind of like a like a, this is a scripted item and it's kind of like a scripted item shulker box where you can put it down you can open it it's a chest you know and then if you attack it it goes back into your inventory okay um, and there everything's all all good back in your inventory that one and well let me show you this one then too this one works on a GUI and this is uh, a GUI with my inventory displayed at the bottom here and it does showing you it does work you can either whoops, escape out of it or um, press the close button I like having the close button uh, so this one 
it uh, sets up this this standard uh, generic GUI texture which I found which comes with Minecraft I believe sets all the different little slots up there and then it uh, it's loaded from from a file as a string but uh, if it if it doesn't exist it will check for that if it's null or something like that but uh, so when the first time it's saved it's saved um, with this as a delimiter it gets all the items changes changes those to JSON strings and saves these um, those strings between those delimiters and then it, when it opens up it uh, splits all those up and spits them out into the right location so uh, it's really pretty straightforward so yeah if you either hit the button or the close it'll do the same thing and this just displays what it is so that's how that works this is this is fairly simple because um, it uh, saves the block uh, entity NBT to a string so just running that back and forth is not that hard uh, the tricky part was here uh, I had to break uh, this, the uh, the X, Y, and Z were wrong when I was placing the chest block, so I had to strip that out basically, and um, put that in, depending on what what the target block I was uh, um, um, designated as putting it on. Um, so that was the big thing it was it would put a chest down but it, it wouldn't be able to open it when i when i had it uh was, was the problem so and and uh yeah it always faces the same way you could probably change the facing of it uh if you got the players facing and things like that but that oops <laughs> can't open it with that all right so there's three ideas for storage uh i hope you liked it uh, thanks for watching